Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Paris. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the army. And like always, to my lovely subscribers, we be here. Anyways, um, so I literally, I'm literally just sitting here. I just got out of gym. It's 5:43 right now, and I was just thinking, like, I know in my last video I said that I wanted to like start using my voice and like, um talking to y'all a little bit more instead of just like showing y'all like they did I know I, mean, I do talk to y'all but like just using my voice a little bit more and like expressing using my throat tracker baby letting every little uh, I feel like right now because I'm on my spiritual journey I'm like stuck in between worlds like I'm kind of like not even stuck I'm, a, I'm stuck but I'm aware of it so it's like I know what I have to do to like you know change that you know change the, the energy change the vibration and i want to like speak on that i want to i just want to like really simplify what it is to completely manifest like like positive outcomes in your life because i know a lot of people like it it's real comforting and comfortable to be depressed or like sad and like you know being speaking negative over your life and just being hurt like the hurt is addictive as much as being positive can be addictive being hurt and being negative is is an addiction i, I always say like we all you have a choice like you have a choice to choose to be positive and expect an a positive outcome or be negative and expect a negative outcome i'm so big on um vibration and frequency because or just like literally being aware of it because you can literally manifest the life that you i won't even say manifest you can literally attract the life like just being on those frequencies like i'm trying to simplify this in the best way possible if you want a positive outcome in your life think positive if you want a negative outcome in your life think negative choose to choose to think positive and choose a positive outcome that is the frequency and it's and it's and it takes practice also because like you have to tell yourself over and over again just the same way you tell yourself over and over again or you think negative over like you overly think about negative um outcomes and you know feeding those negative intentions you can also choose to be positive and think about positive um outcomes and like just focus on the bigger picture and like that's kind of like i'm kind of like going through this because like like this is the toughest i've been through a lot of like um lessons when it comes to my spiritual journey but this one right here um this lesson that i'm going through is kind of like it's like a light and dark i won't even say light and yeah it's kind of like a light and dark aspect like um faith and fear like we have we have a choice to choose like you can't have you can't do both like it's either faith you have faith or you have fear you have a choice to okay so like i said i had to delete some stuff off the camera so so so, 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 so. before i forget so we have you have faith and you have fear you have a choice to choose to have faith or to be in fear both of them takes you stepping into the unknown is what i'm saying so you have a choice <laughs> to choose faith positivity positive outcomes overcoming growing evolving like all these good things or you can choose um fear which brings um destruction depression anxiety all these things that's going to just hinder you and keep you stuck i am learning to choose faith and i don't and i'm not religious i'm not my faith is between me and these the cosmic energies like i am one with the universe i'm learning to like tame emotions tame my mindset and tame like this light and dark aspect of me and just like be at flow like be at a flow with the universe and it takes um also 
experiencing yourself outside of yourself so that's why I, you know i encourage people to meditate and like sit in meditation um i just i don't know it's my my journey is probably different from most but i just understand so many things and like i don't expect everybody to be on the same thing because what's my journey my journey is my journey and I know some people not even going to understand it, but I just wanted to share that you have a choice. If you've been called to do something, um, something higher than what you, what everybody else is doing that's around you, because I'm even going through stuff with like, like family and friends, like everybody around me is so connected to this 3d and i'm just not there like i i can in, i can honestly say that the 3d living i'm like i'm on a whole nother dimension type shit like so the 3d living is not going to sustain me in no type of way and i and i'm understanding that so i'm doing what it is that I have to do to to transmute the energies around me, but like I know it's I'm just not the only one. I know it's more of us out here. And if you run across this video, then yeah, <laughs> this is for you. Like I'm letting you know, like to choose which side you want to be on. And once you choose, that's what you are attracting. grand rising guys what's up y'all so it's um the next day um i got up and like kind of like fixed my hair so it can be done for the day child or whatever uh, i'm about to get ready to go to the gym of course because i just don't want to miss no days we don't miss we're not missing no days um i'm about to make my free workout um, I'm almost done with my pre-workout. Um, I'm about to make my pre-workout right quick. I'm not gonna take y'all to the gym with me because I know the gym be like boring and I really do need to focus while I'm in the gym. Um, so I'm not gonna take y'all with me, but today, um, I'm gonna vlog all day. Like I'm not doing vlogmas simply because I didn't start ahead of time, but I am gonna be posting content. So y'all, before I go to the gym, I always listen to um, Andre 3000 um, album, his new album called The Blue, New Blue Sun. I listen, I just listen to it um, just to kind of like have some form of like some good energy, like some positive energy. And then I go into like my hardcore music once, um, once I'm in the gym. But I wanna like, I'm gonna put my outfit on, my gym outfit on. I have so much laundry that I've done that I need to put up. All these are clean clothes. I have to fold those up, put them up, put them away. And I have more in there that I need to put away. And then I just need to like clean a little bit of my kitchen, clean my kitchen up because I have dishes in the sink and just clean up around here. So when I come back, also y'all, can y'all help me with my refrigerator? Like, I don't know why it's beeping. Like, it just keeps saying this. Like, what do I need to do to fix my refrigerator? Like, it's telling me to, it keeps saying like set the timer, but like, I don't know what to set it to. Like with the freeze, I'm gonna I'm figure it out. But like, yeah, comment down below. Cause it keeps beeping and it's bothering me. <laughs> Here's my outfit. I got this top on. Some Memphis brand. Some leggings and white shoes with the white socks. Yeah, so that's my fit. I have on a sports bra under here cause I usually get once I'm going crazy, I just take off whatever top that I have and I just, you know, whatever. So, yeah. So, yeah.
So I have some um, potatoes, egg, bagel, my use. This is like my favorite little breakfast. And bacon, turkey bacon. So I'm about to make this and just so I can have some fresh clean sheets and stuff and I'm exhausted alright just rub some castor oil on my face I've been using this instead of like actual moisturizer lately to put on my eyebrows and my lashes just rub it on and I have some work to do, so I'm gonna um, get that done. Oh my gosh, y'all. I definitely broke down, just like, and it be happening, like, I just randomly just started crying because of obviously I'm going through stuff that I can't really share with y'all, but um, yeah, things are my life right now is pretty it's difficult right now and i know i expressed it in the beginning of my video earlier like yesterday when i was talking about um faith and fear and like um going through the two going through both of those things at one time and like choosing either one um i was basically coming from a space a place of like like literally i had to like not saying that i was like it is a fear mindset but like Fear can come from like different things like thinking negative, um, you know, just not being on a, a high vibration or frequency to attract the things that you want to attract. I am currently going through a phase in my life where I can't even like speak on it to you guys. I can't speak on it to nobody like a family member because nobody understand like my purpose. And I feel like when I like me talking about it to other people it's like I'm already knowing what advice people are going to give me and I don't want to hear nobody's advice like I don't want to hear it and it's just like even if I do hear it it's just going to put like just going to just put me back in a, like a lack mindset and like it's just kind of hard like it is hard like this 
like taking a leap of faith is hard. I've done it before. I've done it multiple times in my life and I've always like succeed in the outcome of every time I take a leap of faith, yeah, I always come out on top. So like that's not my thing. My thing is like it's this what I'm doing now is like different from well, I won't say it's different because my first time ever like taking a leap of faith and like just taking a risk like that's what it is taking a risk like a huge risk because it's not a huge it's not a risk if faith and fear is not involved it's not a risk when if fear is not involved and I and I want to like kind of like touch on touch back on like when I was like talking about choosing faith or fear when you take a risk a big risk um fear is necessary because it's going to teach you and it's going to help help you and mold you to test your faith it's going to test your faith like fear is like a test and you choose to you choose to have faith and you choose to be like i don't want to be in fear like i don't want to be in fear and that's all about like taking a leap of faith like i've done this so many times like taking a leap of faith and like it always worked for me it always worked out for me. I believe in this time now, it's more so like, um, it's like a, a personal thing. Like, I'm not, when I, first, when I took a leap of faith, like moving to Atlanta, I was with my boyfriend at the time. Like, every time I took a leap of faith, I was involved with somebody. Now, I'm like, by myself. Like, I'm going through all these emotions and feelings and um, lessons and challenges by myself. Because, like, I have no, literally nobody to express what I'm going through. Because I know nobody's not going to get it. And, like, that's kind of, like, another reason why I'm choosing to continue to keep faith and, like, continue to move forward and not give up is because my purpose is, is like, my purpose is so clear to me. What's for me is already mine. It's the process that... I'm going through to get to what's mine. You know what I'm saying? It's like I already have it. It's just, it's, it's materializing on this 3D. bed it's all clean it smells so fresh um guess what y'all so november 11th this year i had did like a manifestation thing because y'all know if y'all not aware of like manifesting like with numerology and like portals and like you know stuff like that then never mind <laughs> but i did like a manifestation on november 11th right and then i put the paper in my pillow, my pillowcase. Tell me why I washed it. And it's ruined. It's... Like I literally washed it. I can't even open it up. I tried to open it up and everything, but I'm I'm trying to figure out what does that mean? Like, like is there like a little meaning to that? Like it was like a relief. Like like I released it in a way. And like, and it's coming to fruition. <laughs> that's what I got out of that. That's why I got, that's what I'm talking about. It's positivity, positive outcomes, positive thinking. You create the reality you desire. You, you create the, the reality you desire. But yeah, it's washed, it's washed away. But anyways, yeah, I'm about to, what time is it? First of all, it is 5.57. It's nighttime outside. So let me get my thoughts together so that I can force myself to go make this food that I don't want to make. It's like I, I'm not even, I, I can go without eating right now, but I just want to go ahead and make it so that it can be done. So by the time I'm ready to eat, I can just go eat. If that makes sense. So don't mind my hair, y'all. I just. Did it all kind of ways, child. 
did it all can way. So I did it all kind of ways, y'all. Thank y'all for y'all comments um, in my last video about the game, the card game and stuff like that. Um, yes, y'all, so I finally got it in the store in Atlanta. I forgot to link it in that video, but I'm gonna link it here in the description box. And um, I'm trying to get it on Amazon and I'm, I'm uploading it now to Etsy. It's, it's in one store in Atlanta, but I'm working on getting it in other stores. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. But the address to that would be like in the description box. So, and also the planner. Don't y'all, don't forget to get the planner. I mean, I've seen a lot of y'all hearting it and like favoring, favoring it on um, on Etsy, which is a good thing. I know um, next year, like around the new year, that's when people like start doing like New Year's resolutions and like manifestations and like planning for the year so I I'm expecting I'm expect and I'm also finna create another one a more because I know I have this one which is kind of like girly but I want to do one for the girls that like um you know that's with the nudes and the blacks and the whites and the grays and like you know aesthetic you know vibes because I do want to have one of those too and I also want to create a notebook it's so many things so many things my literally I can't keep up but um yeah so I'm about to force myself to go in this kitchen and make this food and I'm just check back in y'all once I get in there which would be in like three seconds for y'all but who knows for me together it's like a full it tastes like a full course meal but you can definitely put meat with this you can put like chicken chicken breast um jerk chicken wherever y'all want to do it no meat for me mm. Mm. one thing about it, i'm gonna season some food one thing about it, with the um ranch mashed potatoes spicy ranch mashed potatoes oh. honey cornbread cajun cabbage Give the right sweet and spicy. Ten out of ten. Mmm. Ten out of ten. Right here. Mmm. Oh. oh my gosh, y'all. I'm about to call it a night. 
I'm gonna just start a new, another vlog. I said a new there. That's crazy. I'm gonna start another vlog um, tomorrow, but I'm gonna end this one off right here. I love you guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Like I'm bomb. I can do this without chop. I don't know what I'm I go back to the drop house. Spread that bitch in the meltdown. Catching it and I cash out.